Here I have a two-dimensional, perfectly inelastic collision between a car and a truck. And when they hit each other, they're going to stick together and slide off at some angle. And I'm trying to find the speed of the wreckage right after the collision and what exactly that angle is. In addition, I want to find out how far the wreckage is going to slide before it comes to a stop. And I put a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0.8 here, which roughly corresponds to tires on wet concrete. So to simplify things, the car is moving perfectly horizontally and the truck is moving perfectly vertically as they approach this intersection and collide. So to get this solved, I need to conserve momentum, but it's a two dimensional problem. So I'm going to look at an X momentum equation. And my initial X momentum is going to be just the momentum of the car. And my final X momentum is going to be the total mass of the wreckage, which is 6,500 kilograms. times the final x velocity. So what we're going to get out of this is just a component of that final velocity. So it'll be a vx. Solving for vx real quick, I get 5.08 meters per second. Now we do the same thing in the y direction. My initial y momentum, I have a mass of 5,000 kilograms. It's moving in the plus y direction at 10 meters per second. Final Y momentum, I have a mass of 6,500 kilograms and it's moving in the plus Y direction with some unknown speed VY and I can very quickly solve for VY and I get 7.69 meters per second. So I'll draw it in the picture real quick. Here's VY and it's 7.69 meters per second. Now to get the final velocity, I need to draw a triangle really just because there's not that much room left in my picture. And I have a vertical component of 7.69 meters per second and a horizontal component of 5.08 meters per second. I'm trying to find V final. I'm trying to find theta. So V final is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the legs. giving me approximately 9.22 meters per second. So there's one of our answers. And then theta is the angle whose tangent is 7.69 over 5.08. So theta is approximately 56.6 degrees. Okay, now let's get into the follow-up question about how far the wreckage slides. So I have a final speed here of 9.22 meters per second. And this is really a one-dimensional question now. So I have my 6,500 kilograms of wreckage and it's sliding along for a distance x before it comes to a stop. Now we could use a force analysis on this to find an acceleration and then kinematics to find the sliding distance. But I thought it would be fun to use work and energy instead, just a matter of preference. So just getting force vectors into the diagram. There's mg pointing down. There's the normal force pointing up. And there's nothing else tampering with the vertical direction in this problem. So the normal force is just equal to mg, 6,500 times 9.8. And that's 63,700 newtons. Now my friction force points opposite to the direction of motion and is given by mu k times the normal force. So that's 0 0.8 times 63,700, which is 50,960 newtons. Now I'm going to look at the work energy theorem. So I'm going to say work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And friction is the only thing doing work here. 
So the work done by friction is going to be the change in kinetic energy that's k final minus k initial. If I'm sliding to a stop, then k final must be zero. And writing the work done by friction in terms of a force times displacement, I'm going to get a minus sign because it points opposite to the displacement vector. So I have negative fk times x is equal to negative of the initial kinetic energy And I can go ahead and solve for x. That's going to be mv initial squared over 2 times fk. Plug in our numbers, 6,500 for the mass, 9.22 squared. There's our speed squared over 2 times 50,960. And I get my distance to slide to a stop and it comes out to 5.42 meters.